I'd like you to cry from the depth of your heart. Father, give me an encounter tonight. Give me an encounter tonight. Not tomorrow, not next week. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Shebaka paradosh kalibrande barasko vadi balasiata. Someone full of faith is praying. Give me an encounter tonight. Give me an encounter tonight. Someone is praying. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Lord mighty in battle. The Lord mighty in battle. For thy the the power and the glory. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Forever Forever and ever and ever. Amen. 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 Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Lift your voice and prophesy to your destiny. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. glory the Lord strong and mighty your mighty in battle amen you are that king of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle Father, tonight that you will do a quick walk in our midst. Let the sick be healed. Let no oppression survive tonight. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you will open up destinies like pages of a book tonight. In the name of Jesus, you will open up destinies like the pages of a book tonight. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. And everything that does not name the name of Christ, it must give up over your life tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shalasko brandi kabarasiata. Those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out. When I begin to minister, for those who would come out, I will ask you. But please lay your hands. I want to pray right now. My God, there's such. All I'm just seeing is I'm just seeing smoke. Just inside and outside, that smoke of his presence. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills this room. 
consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome healing fills my life your mighty power fills this place in the name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead every infirmity every spirit that is back of any sickness in the name that is above all names I command that spirit to live now in Jesus name right now I decree and declare inside outside be healed now be healed now be healed now blood conditions be healed in the name of Jesus eye conditions be healed in the name of Jesus organ failures be restored in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching so many people in the name of Jesus there's someone suffering from muzzle pull muzzle pull like like what footballers or athletes have in the name of Jesus the power of God is healing you now someone your right ears you don't hear with it it is opening right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there's someone you are following from National Hospital National Hospital I'm seeing you on the bed in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you right now supernaturally in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing someone there is a lump on your left breast as I'm praying right now you are feeling a, a, a sensation of heat that devil leaves you right now in the name of Jesus there's someone your right leg is swollen in Jesus name be healed someone you're beginning to have projections on your throat looking like goita but by the power of the holy spirit as i pray right now it dissolves and goes down now yeah. hiv be healed now yeah. i say it again hiv be healed now yeah. every kind of cancer be healed now terminal illnesses be healed now those who came on wheelchairs crutches and any kind of aid I declare life and power to your body begin to walk now begin to walk now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ eye conditions there's someone outside you could not see the screen very clearly but the power of God is coming upon you and in the name of Jesus perfect vision for you in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you are having like um, I'm hearing gastritis in the name of Jesus whatever that condition is be healed of it right now be healed of it right now you have a, a severe problem once you stand in the Sun you begin to feel dizzy dizzy and then you can even fall the Lord is healing you right now there's someone you came here your condition is that you have low blood pressure not high blood pressure low blood pressure in the name of Jesus whoever that person is be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit high blood pressure be healed now kidney problems be healed now frequent urination be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now pile be healed now I, 
I don't know my God there's someone I'm I'm seeing is like of course I'm not a doctor but I'm it's like I'm seeing inside your head and there is something like a boil not a boil but a growth a projection inside your head literally in the name of Jesus I don't know whether that has been verified medically or not but be healed right now there's someone you have a condition I don't know what that condition is but you bite your tongue or is it your mouth and you can injure yourself I don't know who that person is in the name of Jesus be healed the issue of blood is being healed right now very severe issue of blood is being healed right now there is a gentleman this is strange you are a gentleman also you are a gentleman not a lady but when you go to ease yourself sometimes you ease out blood that person the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ very severe pain around your chest heaviness around your chest in Jesus name be healed there is someone here you have a medical condition that cannot allow you have a child you have a medical condition you are a man you're unable to get your wife pregnant in the name of Jesus Christ you're going to feel like fire just like a sensation come through your body and in the name of Jesus the Lord is bringing you healing right now the Lord is bringing you healing right now the Lord is bringing you healing right now there's someone you could not move your left hand I'm I'm even feeling like like weight on my left hand the power of God is touching you right now begin to check it right now in the name of Jesus a very supernatural miracle has happened you came here and your one of your molars I don't know I think it was removed but a miracle is going to happen you are going to see a brand new teeth right there this is what the Lord is telling me in the name of Jesus I declared by the Spirit of grace by the power that raised Christ from the dead someone has um, like a growth a projection just this part of your neck this side in the name of Jesus as I'm praying for you right now the power of God is coming upon you and that demonic thing gives way now now whether I mention your case or not diabetes diabetes is being healed right now sugar diabetes is being healed right now there's someone who was brought here with stroke like half of you I don't know if you can walk or not but the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God whether I mention your case or not be healed in Jesus name 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 there is someone I'm seeing you are not in this country uh, it's not given to me to know what nation but I know you are outside this country you are holding your child your child is five years getting to six and has never spoken and the Lord is telling me to pray for that child in the name of Jesus I don't know what that nation is but I declare may the tongue of that child be loose now may the tongue of that child be loose now The Lord is showing me a woman. This is an elderly woman, should not be less than 55 years old. This is a woman in the hospital, in coma completely. In fact, it's almost as if she's gone. In the name of Jesus, we knock on the door of life and we declare that woman returns right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone for a long time, please don't be embarrassed you've suffered what we call mouth odor very pungent smell it's not an issue of lack of hygiene you have even gotten some mouthwash and all of that right now as i'm praying for you the power of god is touching you and that that healing is happening right now in fact i'm seeing at least three or four people with this case i just mentioned no matter how you try to maintain your hygiene it looks like that embarrassment continues it's a demonic thing in the name of Jesus be delivered 
the lord is showing me someone you went to bed and you had a dream and in that dream it had to do with death and from the time you woke up you have been sick till now it is the spirit of death in the name of jesus the son of the living god i declare you are free from that demonic thing a name that is above all names i decree and declare anyone here who is a victim of tormenting spirits that torment you day and night medically that torment you spiritually at the count of three let that fire fall right now at the count of three i want you to shout jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the power of the holy spirit be delivered from the influence of tormenting spirits please whether you are an usher or not be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now, be delivered now from the influence of tormenting spirits be free now the power of god is still coming upon people right now the power of god help them please the power of god is still coming upon people be delivered now in the name of jesus christ satan get lost let god's people go now in the name of jesus now i'm about to pray i'm seeing chains on people's feet there are spirits that have kept people in one place so that you don't move as soon as i pray fire will begin to fall on a few people father i decree and declare everyone who has been bound by the spirits of stagnation and delay as you shout jesus be released now are you ready one two three shout jesus be released be released please bring them out i decree and declare i prophesy your liberty from this tormenting spirits help them please every devil of stagnation every spirit tying you down leave now someone open your mouth and declare i'm moving forward go ahead open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of jesus i am making advancement in life and destiny every devil in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead I'm still praying you hear about good things but your hand never handles it you keep hearing that good things are to happen and yet you are never able to take possession I want to pray right now in the name of Jesus anyone who is a victim of this that good things are always around your neighborhood and yet you never take possession of it the power of God is coming upon you right now the spirit that is responsible for a Paris Qatar for those patterns I decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now, be delivered now. there is a lady you are from Edo state there is a spirit that has tormented your entire family I will not let you go free right now help her the power of God is coming upon you from Edo state I'm seeing the anointing even coming on people not just one person many people Edo state be delivered now bring them out be delivered now be delivered now the lord is ministering to me there's someone here 
every time your time of promotion comes you have a dream and you will see yourself in a place where you have been before and that will be the end of it i don't know who that is but the anointing is coming upon you please bring them out there's a reason why i ask that you bring them out it's not just for show i decree and declare whoever that person is fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now the lord is showing me a family all the women in that family have similar dreams dreams of retrogression this is from your mother to the sisters the, the ladies right now the power of god is coming on all the ladies who are here in the name of jesus these ladies parikatos ketebata bring them out i break that chain from that family i break that chain from that family i release that family right now 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 please whether you are an usher or not if someone is under the anointing please help to bring them you don't have to wait for the ushers there might be too much for them to do i'm hearing the name jennifer the season where demonic holds over your life is breaking i'm hearing the name jennifer in the name of jesus i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold right now jennifer i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold what's her name hold on please don't take it easy my dear where are you coming from Let's... look at me shout jesus as loud as you can jesus! i cast that spirit now be delivered completely in the name of jesus for every other person in the name of jesus this lady holding her stomach something is leaving your stomach i cast that spirit out of her right now in the name of jesus christ release her destiny now in the name of jesus christ my goodness god is setting people free i am seeing god take things out of people's stomachs like i don't know like growth or whatever i declare anyone having a fibroid or any kind of demonic growth right now fire from heaven is coming upon you that devil dissolves now that devil dissolves now I'm hearing a name Israel Israel and the Lord is speaking to me that this gentleman it is time for God to use you to visit your family this is what God is telling me who is Israel what do you do my friend yes, sir. Huh? I'm an architect you are an architect yes, sir. do you believe if I tell you God is going to use you yes, sir. as a deliverer in your family yes, sir. my goodness father in the name of jesus i use him as a point of contact to every israel here what he says to one he says to all by the power that raised christ from the dead i release that grace upon all of you take that grace right now in the name of jesus the lord will use you to set your family free in the name of jesus christ hear me there is someone i want to pray for you don't have to come out but the power of God is visiting people. Do you know that death is a spirit? D-E-B-T. Not death. Death, borrowing. There, there are people who are addicted to it like drugs. It's not that you are bad. This thing is a pattern. You have seen it. God wants to break it in families. I don't know where that family is, but right now. The spirit that has tied people financially walking and living in debt be delivered now be delivered now there is a gentleman here you came from one of the northern states the hand of God is upon your life and he's going to use you mightily I don't know where that gentleman is but the anointing is of the spirit is coming upon him right now you you came from the north your ministry is right there in the name of jesus christ
God is going to use you like a like like a, a tree that just springs out as though from nowhere is a mighty anointing you will sweep across your city with the fire of revival I release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now there are three people up the balcony the power of God is coming upon them the Lord is saying it has come to an end I don't know what it is but that's what I hear it has come to an end it has come to an end I decree and declare wherever you are help them please across the balcony the power of God is touching you it has come to an end in the name of Jesus Please don't just pick them and take them back. Ushers, you should know better, please. Let me do my prayer for them. There's a reason why I ask them to come. Please return that lady who is going back, please. It's not about bringing them out to show a man of God is powerful. No. Please, don't just pick them when they think. There is a reason why we ask them to come out. They don't have to come out. But when God instructs, then it's important. Otherwise, you will just take them back to their various bondages. For all those who are out here in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every spirit that has tormented you right now, for all of you, I declare at the count of three, let them go, release their destinies. One, two, three, go, go, go. Out of them now. Out of them now. Out of their lives now. In the name of Jesus. Everything that has been stolen, let there be a restoration let there be a restoration let there be a restoration as i pray for them i pray for you everything that has been stolen in the name of jesus restoration supernatural restoration in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus The Lord is still showing me a family. Your father is a pastor, but there is absolutely nothing that is working in that family. A sincere man of God who loves God, but poverty, failure, shame. This is what has characterized his family. I don't know who that person is. You are a lady in the name of Jesus. Is there someone like that? Please make sure you verify. Let's not just have people coming out carelessly. Your father is a pastor. I want to pray. The devil is a liar. Just put them. They can stand one place anywhere there. I want to pray for them. You see, look at this. You can imagine this kind of demonic mockery. A man who is, who is spending his life serving the Lord. And then the devil will want that nothing works in his life. You see. So it can discourage members. It can discourage people they can say if you are a man of God why are these things not working for you but in the name of Jesus you came here for this miracle service tonight I'm praying for you there are so many of you so I will use you as a point of contact every altar speaking against your family right now I stretch my hands upon all of you who are out here at the count of three that fire will fall upon you one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire Take that fire. I decree and declare those altars are set ablaze. I release your parents. I release your loved ones. I release your parents. I release your families. Help them, please. Every altar that has stood as a resistance to the growth of your family be destroyed now. I not only pray for them, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, every altar that sponsors hatred, that sponsors trouble, that sponsors limitation by the power that raised Christ from the dead, it is destroyed now. You don't have to come out but i want to pray for you 
there is someone here your father has a case with EFCC and if we don't pray for you with what I'm seeing they are going to jail him I don't know who that person is you don't have to come out so that you avoid any embarrassment but in the name of Jesus I don't I'm not a, 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 a government worker I don't know how it works there but for God to have revealed it we declare mercy right now agree with me we declare mercy right now in the name of Jesus who is sitting on what belongs to you in the name of Jesus Christ please receive this prayer I decree and declare anyone fighting the prophecy over your life and sitting where they should not be I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic I overturn them I overturn them I overturn them I overturn them help them please I overturn them in the name of Jesus until you sit upon that which is rightfully yours whether in the office whether in politics I say it again I overturn tonight I overturn tonight. I overturn tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. I'm not a banker. And I will not I will not say anything that will destroy any bank but there is a particular bank we need to pray for in the name of Jesus I will not mention names but in the name of Jesus we are praying that what the devil is plotting that that bank just goes down overnight may the Lord show mercy Amen. in the name of Jesus because with what the Lord is showing me right now, I'm seeing a lot of financial distress. It's still on that tone. They are just trying to walk to see how they can manage it. But in the name of Jesus, I am praying for the sake of the mercy of God and for the sake of those who fear God in that bank, both workers and customers, may God preserve it in Jesus' name. <laughs> Jessica. Jessica who is Jessica Jessica this is what I'm hearing who is Jessica where are you coming from I just did. come and stand here please where are you coming from I want to pray for you what do you do madam don't be embarrassed not nothing I want to pray for you let me pray for you where is your husband? He's outside. He lost his job. Yes. When? Yes. 2017. And from that time, he's not gotten a job again. The one he got, he has been managing it. He's nothing to write home about. From the when he is he here? Yes, because of there's no space. He's of course, I understand. Outside. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have to come. Husband, wherever you are, you are seeing your wife on camera. Just stand by faith. If we say he should come now. We may waste time. Do you believe God can visit him? Yes. Madam, what do you do? I'm a businesswoman. I want to pray for you. I believe in miracles, so I truly believe. Hallelujah. Jessica. Your name is not Jessica. Oh. Brother's wife. Huh? Your brother's wife. You're standing in okay. Please don't come out to stand in for anybody. If it's not you, just be patient by faith. Believe wherever you are. Don't worry, I'll pray for you since you are here. Madam, in the name of Jesus, please, why are they here? Are you Jessica? Your name, the name your parents gave you. Okay, so you can stand here. So that we'll save time because we, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Every planting of darkness. I use this once in front as a point of contact. Ah! I'm praying for these people, but I'm seeing a lady here. There is a, a ring that is demonic. This is not physical on your hand, 
but this is demonic this thing has closed everything that looks like marital doors the power of god is coming upon you right now help them help them this is what i'm seeing i just saw a ring flashing at me and the lord is saying until that is taken care of it looks like nothing can i'm praying i do, what he says to why are you coming out my dear listen to what i'm saying first okay don't worry my dear look at me just calm down you are not carrying a physical ring huh? just be patient in the name of jesus i decree and declare i'm not saying those who are looking for marital miracles that's not what i'm saying i'm sharing with you a vision understand the vision first before you come out it's not an issue of coming out it's an issue of standing where you are and the power of god touching you in the name of jesus those who are there don't worry let them not be embarrassed just leave them to come once they are already here just just let them be let them come in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit every demonic thing any kind of satanic engagement that anyone here if there is any strange marriage aha uh -huh, that is not of god any demonic kaparakatos kadiata every fraternity that has tied you in the spirit help that woman in the name of jesus i call upon the lamb upon the throne we dissociate that demonic marriage now we dissociate that demonic marriage now please help them my god we dissociate that demonic marriage now strangers of the night that come to visit you while you sleep molesting you and spying upon your liberty right now i stretch my hands anyone here who is a victim of those things be delivered now and for all of the jessicas who god called out here in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that is an embargo over your life and your destiny and your family i hereby release you now I hereby release you now that mockery and that shame over your life I release you now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare for some of you between now and the end of August the way God will visit you and turn things around in your life please believe it I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you God bless you thank you there there is um i don't know if i should ask them to come out now but i am seeing a unique grace from this service that is coming upon people who are into construction there is a grace those who are construction building there is a grace in the name of jesus i don't know who is into that whether your business or you work with a firm there is the grace there and i decree and declare right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god father upon all these ones i declare may your power rest upon them right now may your power rest upon them right now that what god will do within one month will surprise you many of you will surprise you in the name of jesus christ i'm not a prophet of doom but i want us to pray i'm seeing an attack in a particular mall in the name of jesus christ we cancel it now don't misunderstand me i don't promote negative prophecies it is because we are a family of faith here there are many things that i see that i just pray on sometimes god allows us to release these things to edify the body remember dominion is not saying evil will happen and watching it happen dominion is that is god revealing what the devil is doing and then we use the authority of jesus to stop it are we together now the joy is not negative things coming to happen there are only few things in the bible that are called written judgments that means many things many evils can be stopped there are few that are called written judgments for instance the rapture of the saints and the imminent destruction of those who are not with christ there's nothing you can do about that once a man dies outside of christ you cannot pray and say let the person repent wherever no it's not it, we don't see any expression of that in the bible are we together the destruction of satan nobody can fast and pray for satan to be saved no 
the judgment of satan is a written judgment but there are many evils that it is within the power of the saints to stop hallelujah since god has brought this issue is it possible for us to hold hands in one minute and neutralize spiritually every demonic plot over the fct do you believe that in one minute let's open our mouth and pray in the name that is above all names we are praying for the fct we are praying for nigeria all the six geopolitical zones we are praying extending our prayers to africa but particularly for nigeria go ahead and pray we pray for abuja the fct then we pray for the north we pray for the south we pray for the east and we pray for the west in the name of jesus the son of the living god we agree as a spiritual family oh god arise and let everything that is antichrist be scattered over our nation we decree and declare and we prophesy safety above and beyond the coordinated efforts of the military the police dss civil defense we declare let there be angelic activities let the forces of judgment be released for the sake of the saints somebody is praying call the name of any area in abuja you know and prophesy safety upon it we declare safety safety all the six local governments that make up this state we declare safety extend that word of safety to the neighboring environment nasarawa state niger state kaduna state plateau state benway state kogi state we decree and declare safety by the power of the holy spirit we extend this word of safety across the six geopolitical zones in this nation father arise let the spirits that make for bloodshed kidnapping maiming killing destructions of lives and properties they come on that judgment in the name of jesus christ They come on that judgment somebody is praying the facilities within the fct we declare safety public private facilities in the name of jesus for in jesus name we pray please listen to me i don't even know if we'll have the time again to call those who have been healed but let me just give you a word of hope and comfort please hear me do not fear prophesy to yourself say myself in the name of jesus i reject fear one more time say it say i reject fear hold on let me tell you by the privilege of where i come from and where we started ministry i've had the i don't know what to call it now i have i have been part of many crises and i've seen many uprisings there is one thing i can tell you fear has never helped in any situation i know that because of what is happening across the fct there is fear i know that there is a call for greater vigilance there is a call for greater sensitivity both spiritually and security wise but can i tell you i challenge every father and every priest here you have a responsibility to plant the spirit of faith we are not going to paralyze our lives and activities just because of the activity of evil rather we would pray that god himself will empower the military and all those who are working day and night to see to our safety and to pray that the ministry of angels and the forces of judgment be released in their full in the full force over these evil people are we together but let me challenge you there is one thing i know that empowers evil fear 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 do not put yourself in a position just because you are hearing of wars and rumors of wars now i do not downplay the fact that it is not a nice thing to see people come and maim and kill and rape and do all kinds of demonic things but living in fear will destroy you time will go you will not achieve your goals you will be poor you will be broke you will go down it's a pain to know that our schools are having to shut down because of this vested interest and evil people wherever they are may god judge them 
both the one who steals and the one who helps those who steal they are all thieves do you agree so when we are saying the forces of judgment be released it's not just to be released on those who directly do evil the entire central system the network of evil may fire from heaven fall upon them but as for you in the name of jesus i place a mark upon you by reason of being grafted to Christ and by the privilege of being in this part of this spiritual family in the name of Jesus you will not die Amen. the Lord God himself will prohibit you Amen. from going to and being around anywhere where there will be destruction Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. now I want you right where you are open your mouth and please begin to pray in the spirit as we have the request come Wherever you are, begin to pray in the spirit. Begin to pray in the spirit, please. You are enforcing everything that has been spoken outside. Are you praying? All of the overflows begin to pray. Begin to pray in the spirit. If you are yet to submit your prayer request, can you wave it? Someone will quickly pick it and then it will be brought here very quickly. Go ahead and pray. Though I walk through the valley, love, I'll fear no evil. By the water still my soul, my heart will trust in you. My heart will trust in you. One more time. Though I walk through the valleys, I'll fear no evil. I go under still my soul, my heart will trust in you. My heart will trust, trust in you. Hallelujah. Please prophetically may I request that you stretch your hands towards me and begin to pray and declare over this request as I bow my knees before the father of glory agreeing for answers to these prayers answers to this request I'd like you to declare that these Egyptians I see today I will see them no more forever someone pray this is the most accurate representation of your desires the Bible says, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it, and thou shall have it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every request here is turned to a harvest of testimonies. Every long-standing issue represented here, may this be the season for speedy answers. Every spirit that is behind the tragic situations written here, in the name of Jesus, we command that that spirit loses its hold now. And every human vessel who must come into partnership with heaven for this request to be manifested in your life, we compel the ministry of those men. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy over your life that this is your season of laughter in the name of Jesus 
he said the lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the negev i decree and declare every captivity here is thereby turned around in the matchless name of jesus thank you for staying to the end of this message i know you have been blessed powerfully by this message i know you have been blessed and i also want you to bless others by sharing this message with others also in that way you are also doing the work of an evangelist so stay tuned on this channel and also when you subscribe turn on the notification bell so that each time we release a content you'll be notified and so that you don't miss out on any of our content so god bless you and we hope that we see you next time but keep in mind that jesus is alive and your life is to let you have to use the life the opportunity opportunity that god has given to you to to tell someone about jesus because you never can tell when you sow that seed of faith your own just to sow the seed and the holy spirit will take it up from there so let someone know about jesus you don't have power to convert someone you don't have power to convict someone but when you sow that seed the holy spirit will now breathe upon that seed and the person will be convicted and the person will give life or her life to jesus <laughs>